The purpose of the implant tab is to plan implant placement. There are two methods to place implants. The first method is to insert a single implant in the 3D implant view. Click Add Single Implant and choose the implant to insert. The implant will be attached to your cursor. Left-click to place the implant in the general area of the implant site on the 3D volume. As you can see, once you have placed the implant on the volume, the other window sections will be populated with information. The top window is the axial cross-section of the implant. The middle window displays a cross-section that is a plane of the yellow AB line. The bottom window shows a density profile that displays the H2 values immediately surrounding the implant. You can turn this view off by clicking Density Profile Control and unchecking the visible box. Now you will see an additional cross-section that is perpendicular to the yellow AB line. As I rotate the yellow AB line, the middle and bottom cross-sections will also update. With this in mind, the yellow AB line should be adjusted to be perpendicular to the arch. This will generate a buccal lingual cut for the middle cross-section and a mesial distal cut for the bottom cross-section. In the view control, you can set the manufacture, product, diameter, and length of the selected implant with options in the drop-down menus. With the implant selected in the volume, a widget will appear to adjust the implant. You can rotate the implant with the orange rotational arrows and move the implant with the straight arrows. There are clipping options available that can help you view the implant position on the volume. In the cross-section view, you can turn on the grid to view distances between structures. You can move the implant by clicking and dragging the mouse. You may need to readjust the yellow AB line to be perpendicular to the arch. With the implant selected in the cross-sections, a widget will appear to adjust the implant. You can rotate the implant with similar orange rotational arrows. There are additional red and blue circles that can be used to adjust the diameter and length of the implant. You can delete an implant by ensuring the implant is selected and pressing the delete key. The second method to insert implants is to place multiple implants in the panel implant view. To adjust the panel, you can move the upper and lower limits and arch spine to include preferred anatomy. To add implants, drag and drop the implants on the panel. Once an implant has been placed on the panel, the top window displays the axial cross section. Remember to adjust the yellow AB line to be perpendicular to the arch to generate the buccolingual cut. The bottom window shows a plane of the yellow AB line, which should display the buccolingual cross-section. Similar to the 3D implant view, you can set the manufacture, product, diameter, and length in the view control for the selected implant. In the panel and cross-section view, the same widget will appear to adjust the angle, length, and diameter. In the panel view, you have the option of making implants parallel. Click on the node at the head of the implant and drag to the node of the other implant you want to make parallel. Now, when you select an implant, the other implant will become parallel to the selected implant. If you rotate one implant, the other will also rotate accordingly. To remove an implant from the parallel group, click the node of the implant and choose Yes. Let's return to the 3D implant view. To edit which manufacturers and implants appear in the drop-down menu, click Preferences, Preferred Implant Settings. 
Please note that the manufacturers are divided into guided and non-guided options to indicate kit compatibility. All listed implants are compatible with the Anatomage kit. Some implants are listed as guided to indicate that the implant will be additionally compatible with the manufacturer's guide kit. Let's add the Astra guided implants. Click on Astra Facilitate Guided to display the available products. From the product list, select the implants you are interested in and click on the arrow pointing right. Your implants will now show up in your drop-down menu when you exit these dialogues. You can also use this dialog to reduce the number of implants or manufacturers that appear in your drop-down menu. During implant planning, if you don't see a certain product or diameter for an implant in the drop-down menu, please switch to the guided version of the implant. If you only use one implant type, click Preferences, Default Implant Setting, to assign default options for each implant number. Now, when you add an implant, the implant will automatically be set in the drop-down menu. Next, I want to show you various features in the Implant tab that will assist with your implant planning. InVivo will display a warning sign when an implant is positioned too close to another implant or nerve. For example, I will move this implant close to the adjacent implant. As you can see, a warning has appeared. You can turn off the warning notification and change the allowance for the warning under Preferences. In the Restoration section, we can add restorations to our implants by clicking Add All. You can modify the restorations in the Restoration tab. In the View Preset section, we have customizable buttons for visibility settings. InVivo has default visibility options that will turn on or off certain objects. By clicking on Setup, you can customize each button by renaming and setting the object visibilities. Implant Profile will display an outline of the implant to view the bone where the implant may be positioned. Long Axis displays the force vector placed on the implant. Trajectory shows the access to the implant site, which is the space needed for instrumentation. Surrounding displays a buffer zone so you can see how close you are to other critical structures. Model will show a stone model overlay for a soft tissue perspective to view the gum and analyze the implant position with existing teeth. The stone model can be inserted in the restoration tab. If you are doing a surgical guide case, our consultants will import and register the stone model for you. Now, I would like to show you several tools in the toolbar. Implant Angle Dialog shows a summary of the angles between every implant. Create Summary captures an image of each implant with the implant info in the Gallery tab. Additionally, it offers to print a report of the implant's spatial positions and a list of implant information for reference and ordering purposes. Check Sleeve will check if there is any interference between the instrumentation implants, and sleeves. View Sequence generates a preset video that shows the placement of implants, abutments, or restorations that can be exported as a video file. To demonstrate the Visualize Bone Graph Volume tool, I will switch to a different scan. With an implant placed in the case and the tool selected, a semicircular graph can be placed along the implant's long axis in the 2D slices. The radius can be adjusted using the mouse scroll wheel. Left-click to place the graph. As you can see, 
The sinus graft is displayed in the cross sections and the 3D volume. You can delete the sinus graft by selecting it and pressing the delete key. If you have any unanswered questions, or if you would like additional information, consult the InVivo reference manual. If you do not have a copy of the manual, or still have questions, contact Cabo Dental Imaging Technical Support by calling 866-528-6537.